Ford from MrFordsClass.com and in this presentation we're going to follow up on a different video about USB. In this one we're going to talk about the bandwidth available and how to troubleshoot it on your computer. You might recall from the previous video as well as maybe lecture or a book that the maximum number of devices that can go into one USB hub is a theoretical 127 devices. That's 127. You learn that the speeds of the USB, USB, the old one, the 1.1, can go a maximum speed of 12 megabits per second. That's bits. That's the small one. Or 1.5 megabytes per second. USB 2, the high-speed USB, can go to a maximum speed of 480 megabits per second or 60 megabytes per second. So USB 1, 12 megabits per second, 1.5 megabytes. USB 2.0, 480 megabits per second or 60 megabytes per second. But this is not per device. It's like a cable, if you've ever had cable network. Everyone on that connection is sharing the maximum bandwidth. It's, connect, it's sharing the maximum speed. If you are in an office situation or a school situation, when you log on the first thing in the morning when everyone comes to work, you have a very slow connection. Everything kind of runs slower. It's kind of like a highway. If you have a four-lane highway and the speed limit is 70 miles an hour, yes, that might be the maximum speed you can go. But depending on how many cars are on that road, your speed can decrease. Of course, living in Houston, it's a little bit different out here. But it's a bandwidth. It's a maximum speed shared by all devices. So if I have 10 USB devices through one USB hub, all 10 devices are sharing that speed. Let's see how we can look at to find out if we're having a problem with our USB connection. We go to our ever popular start button, to our control panel, of course we're going to try to get into device manager. So we're going to look at our system button right here, double click, look at our hardware tab, and look at device manager. Again, from the other video, this might take a little bit of time depending on your computer as well as what you have running on it. Okay, I'm going to look down here at my Universal Serial Bus Controller button. Now, if you remember from the previous video, we showed you how to see how much electricity is being used. And that was right-clicking on the hub, going to Properties, and looking at Power. We are not doing that this time. We are going to look at the maximum bandwidth used by that host, that hub. So we're going to go up here to the top area, and we're going to look here. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to Properties, and I'm going to go to my Advanced tab. And this shows me the bandwidth that's being used by that root hub, by that one USB connection, that one big trunk that everything can kind of branch off on. So 10% of that total bandwidth is being used. Let's look at my next one. Properties. Advanced. That one is having 21% of its bandwidth used. Let's take a quick look at some of the other ones, see if we find anything really bizarre here. 10%. Ten percent. Ten percent. So nothing really unusual going on here. If I had a USB port that had a hub in it and I connected devices in another hub and let's say my mouse wasn't working right or my camera wasn't working right or my webcam wasn't working right and I eliminated all the possibilities, I would probably want to take a look here and see if maybe I was using up the maximum bandwidth. Also, not officially part of this video, but something that's also pretty cool to know. If you might have USB 1.1 or USB 2.0 
compatibility. Remember USB 2.0 is backwards compatible with all the previous versions. What does this mean? If you are familiar with the Xbox game system, Microsoft's Xbox game system, if you purchased the Xbox, the original one, one year, bought a bunch of games and then purchased the Xbox 360, you can still play the old games on the Xbox 360. It is backwards compatible. So 2.0 is backwards compatible with the older stuff. To find out if you have 2.0, you want to look for this little word here, enhanced host controller. Enhanced host controller means you have USB 2.0 installed on your computer. If it's missing, you don't have USB 2.0 and you just have USB 1. So we showed you how to check the bandwidth available on your USB controller. Hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it, and we'll see you for our next presentation. Goodbye.